Hello friend, Jim here with JB's Big Adventure, coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. One of the questions that I get asked uh, on a regular basis is about buying real estate in Mexico. Now, I literally wanted to go to somebody that knows a lot about real estate in Mexico, and she is in fact a real estate attorney, and that is Adriana Perez Flores. Yes. And thank you, Adriana, for being with us today. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. And so, what she's going to do is share from an attorney that's in, that practices uh, real estate law, in fact, what it is involved in purchasing property in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So share with us what the process is. Well, the process is once that you come to Mexico and you want to buy a property, you need to, again, most of the people that comes from the U.S. or Canada, you are used to buy through a real estate office. But you also can buy it directly by owner. Uh, but yeah, some people, I mean, most of the people, they don't want, they always want to do it through a real estate office. Okay. Yeah, they don't uh, like to do it directly because they come to a different country where they don't know the laws, and they don't know if they will be taking advantage from the seller, the buyer, the real estate people. Right. So it's when they hire me to, so I can help them to, to be like their company, Right. Checking that the all the papers, all the documents, Mexican documents are everything is according to the law, that they are not taking it are being taken advantage. advantage of. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So that's why they hire me as their real estate lawyer. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and viewers, I, I just I want to share with you that this is definitely a different country. Things aren't done here the way that they were done in the States. Um, we've met quite a few people that have purchased property here. And I think things would, they realized then that things probably would have been better if they had an attorney with them also. And that's where Adriana comes in, is being able to help with that process, making sure that the home buyer is not being taken advantage of. Now, we're not only talking about somebody who understands the paperwork and all those kind of things, but it's it's just the process of making sure that the correct things are done the correct way. Instead of having somebody, maybe they don't know a whole lot of English and they're trying to get by talking to you, you would much rather importance of having somebody that's bilingual that can share with you that speaks great English to make sure that, and she has your back. So making sure that you don't get involved in the deal that you have no idea what's going on or you're signing for something that you have no idea what it's all about. So, and I will tell you with my experience and my background in regards to using attorneys in the States, um, her fees are like night and day. And in the States, they are very, very, very expensive, but it's always good to have an attorney. The thing about having an attorney in Mexico, for one, you're not going to be paying the same kind of fees as you do in the States, but you're also going to have somebody that understands Mexico law, not real estate law, Mexican real estate law, and is able to make sure that your, uh, your contract and that the process is well uh, um, visualized or well taken care of and looked over to make sure that everything goes correct for you. And when it comes to hiring a real estate attorney, how important from being in Mexico would you say that that is? It's important just to for their their own protection. Peace of mind. Peace of mind, right? Yeah. Uh huh. That everything is going to be okay because they're coming to a different country, different people, different culture. Everything is different. Right. The language starting from there. The language. Right. So. So they feel like, not intimidated, but uh, not free. Yeah. Like they are right. always afraid. Like right. I think everybody who goes to another Stress country. Stress and all kinds of uh -huh. things that come in. So then it's when they come and they ask me as a lawyer if, they, if I can uh, be with them again to check that everything is according to the law. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So as you can tell, for one, she knows what she's talking about. And being the fact that she's been around... Uh, the legal system and involved in real estate and such for such a long time, 
um, you would know that you'd have a good person on your side. Something I wanted to share with you is just my own experience in the States of um, what it costs to have an attorney. Now, I will tell you this. It's a lot better to have an attorney and not need it than it is to need it and not have an attorney. And so I have been accustomed knowing in the States that attorneys charging four or $500 an hour. Well, Adriana actually charges also 500 pesos an hour. That's you as that's $25. So the question would be is, is it worth the peace of mind of having a real estate attorney involved in helping you with your transaction when it comes to buying a house? And I would say that's a small price to pay to have that peace of mind yes. of having that help. As you also might know that when purchases of homes are done here at Lake Chapala, they are cash buys. In other words, you don't go to a bank and buy a piece of property. What you're doing is you're paying for the property cash. And that's all done, you know, through Mexico, U.S. or Canada, wherever it may be. So that's one more thing that would be important to have a, a real estate attorney involved also, right? Right. Is there anything else in closing you'd like to share with them? No. I think you cover everything. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I hope this information has been very helpful for you. And I can tell you just by spending time around Adriana and understand different things that's taken place in real estate just in the year that Barbara and I have been here. Um, it definitely is the type of thing that when Barbara and I get ready to buy a house, we will definitely be having Adriana take care of it for us. So with that, if you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's a great community, and I know you want to be a part of it. It's real simple, fast, and easy to do. On the bottom right-hand corner is a red box. All you got to do is tap on it. You're subscribed, and you'll know when our next video comes out. Also, make sure that you give us a thumbs up, because what that does is lets other people know it's a great video to watch about retiring here to Lake Chapala. Stop by and say hi. You can ask a question or even about a video idea that you'd like to see. And also make sure you ring the bell because that makes sure that you're immediately notified when our next video comes out. So Adriana, again, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you too. Well, with that, thank you so much for being a part of this video and a part of the channel. We really appreciate you, Barbara and I. Have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next video.